Well, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So we're getting ready for dinner. Obviously getting some meat prepped. You can see we're all just kind of doing whatever around the kitchen. Uh, my wife's going to be actually cooking tonight and I'll be filming the recipe that she decided she wanted to try. So let's jump into the video and see how this turns out. So the first thing we ended up having to do was remove all of the skin they left it on when they filleted everything at the docks when we got back from our trip. They also left in the bloodline as well too. So if you've ever had fish and it has that just gamey fishy taste, it's because of the bloodline. Once that's removed, it changes everything. Next, we ended up soaking the fish in milk for roughly about 30 minutes. So that way it would remove any of the additional fishy, gamey flavor. You can also do this with a saltwater brine as well too. All right, so it's soaked for the last half hour. And that should be plenty of time to kind of help with that fishy, gamey taste. Now we're going to go ahead and get it rinsed and ready to cook. So after you rinse anything, be sure to pat it dry with a paper towel. ahead and start melting the butter and we have added about three tablespoons of minced garlic I will tell you do this to your liking we like a lot of garlic you may not so just keep that in mind season to your taste The butter has cooked down and combined with the garlic, so it's time to start prepping our skillet. What all did you put on? So all we've added is salt and pepper, and then we're gonna combine it with this first or after we put it in the pan. We're gonna sear the side, sear one side, season the other, and we're gonna pour that over close to the pan. To sear one side of the fish, and then as that side finishes, we're going to flip it, and then we'll add the garlic and butter to this closer to the end as it finishes cooking.
All right, guys. Well, that's how it turned out. It looked amazing and it tasted even better. So I assure you, I will probably be doing a few more catch and cook videos, especially the way my wife cooks. Why would I not show that off? So anyways, that's all I've got for you and I'll catch you on next week's episode.